Yellowstone Volcano USGS pinpoints date of next super eruption amid too late fears. Yellowstone volcano scientist Dr. Mike Poland has pinpointed a date for a potential future super eruption after addressing claims that it is overdue. The caldera within Yellowstone National Park is spread over the three states of Wyoming, Idaho, and Montana and poses a significant threat in the event of a super eruption. The system is continuously monitored by the United States Geological Survey USGS, for any changes, although such events have not occurred in over 640,000 years. Over the years, there have been many unsupported claims that the supervolcano is a late eruption, after which the average time between each event is calculated. But the scientist in charge of the Yellowstone Volcano Observatory, Dr. Poland, attempted to end it in the latest USGS update, he said, I thought I would start this month's update by talking about one of the most common misconceptions about Yellowstone, and that a large explosive eruption in Yellowstone is too late. This is not true, and there are two reasons why this is happening. The first is that volcanoes don't work that way. They didn't erupt as scheduled. Volcanoes erupt when there is a sufficient supply of magma that can erupt below the surface and enough pressure to lift the magma to the surface. Currently, neither of those conditions exist in Yellowstone. Dr. Poland went on to detail how the hotspot might even be in a state of decline. He added, the magma chamber under Yellowstone is only about 5 to 15 percent liquid, so not enough to generate one of these big explosions. Over the last 15,000 years or so, since the last ice age, we know from the geology of Lake Yellowstone that large portions of Yellowstone have fallen. In fact, it descended in a web of 30 meters, nearly 100 feet, over that period of time, so there's no pressure and absolutely no magma to feed one of these enormous explosions. Even if Yellowstone did explode on schedule, the calculations would still not work. Dr. Poland then dissected the figures presented, before detailing his own calculations. He said, now, Sometimes you will hear that there have been 600,000 years or more between Yellowstone's eruptions, and the last one was 631,000 years ago. Well, the last part of it is the only part that is true. 631,000 years ago, the Yellowstone caldera, red line here, that formed, but before that was the Henry's Fork caldera, green curve there. That was about 1.3 million years ago, and before that was the purple line outlining the Huckleberry Ridge caldera, and that was 2.1 million years ago. If you look at the time periods between those, the average eruption interval between these explosions is actually about 725,000 years, which means actually, we have another 100,000 years or so. But the expert acknowledged that the figure may not be correct, adding that there will never be another super eruption. He continued, If you go further back in time, there is an even longer period of time, and if you're talking about a very big explosion, Henry's Fork wasn't really a super eruption. So, if you just look at super eruptions, actually the time between eruptions is getting longer. And this is probably because the Yellowstone hotspot is facing the continental crust which is getting thicker. It's fundamentally harder to burn the Earth's crust from below, so we probably won't see many, or possibly any, of these large explosive eruptions in the future.